The incredible introduction to the solar system for juniors. Space is huge, filled with lots of stars and galaxies. One of them is the Milky Way. In its side arm spins our sun, which is 4.6 billion years old. The sun is a star, like the million other stars in the night sky. It looks enormous because it's pretty close to us. Our sun is so big that 1.3 million Earths can fit inside it. Orbiting our sun are eight planets, lots of asteroids, comets, and a few tiny dwarf planets. They all together make our solar system. This version is for preview only. Commercial exhibition of Mercury, the film is prohibited. Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These are our neighbor planets. Our Earth shares the solar system with them. The planets are divided into two types, terrestrial planets and gas giant planets. Terrestrial planets always have land, lots of mountains, volcanoes, craters, and sometimes water. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the terrestrial planets. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, on the other hand, are gas giants. Nuh uh, not because they fart. They are called gas giants because they are surrounded by lots and lots of gases. Also, all gas giant planets have beautiful rings made of really tiny icy rocks. Of course, no one can beat the mind-blowing rings of Saturn. Gas giants and terrestrial planets are divided by the band of space rocks called the asteroid belt. There are millions of asteroids and meteoroids orbiting in this belt. Sometimes they sneak out of their home and crash on the planet. Whenever a tiny meteoroid strikes on Earth, it gets burned up and makes a shiny streak of light in the sky. Some people call it a shooting star. Far from the belt is the tiniest planet, Mercury. It is almost this equal size is to our moon. Only. Commercial exhibition Mercury is the closest is to the sun. One year on Mercury is shorter than its one day. That makes the planet super hot in the daytime and super, super cold in the nighttime. The hottest planet in our solar system is Venus. The size of Venus is almost the same as Earth. Venus spins very slowly in the opposite direction. It is covered with dense clouds that keep the planet always warm. Venus is easily spotted as the brightest star in our night sky. Earth is our home. It's the only known planet with life. It totally looks like a blue marble from space. I'd say, Earth is the most colourful planet of our solar system. Tall mountains, huge oceans, colourful land, and lots of ice around the poles. Earth has one shiny moon, the natural light bulb of dark nights. We can thank the moon for awesome waves on the beach. The red star in our night sky is planet Mars. It is half the size of Earth and absolutely looks like a creamy chocolate. Planet Mars has huge deserts and giant storms, but very less air. It also has the largest mountain in the whole solar system, Olympus Mons. 
Right now, our space scientists are planning to give Mars a visit. Mars has two tiny moons, Phobos and Deimos. The gas giant planet starts with Jupiter. It's the biggest planet in the solar system, with lots of swirling clouds. Jupiter is always covered with the most powerful storms. The red spot of Jupiter is also a storm, which is two times bigger than Earth. Jupiter has faint rings and around 67 moons. The planet with gorgeous rings is Saturn. It is also filled with storms like Jupiter, but it's lighter than water. Someday, if Saturn decides to go for a swim, it will float like a beach ball. Planet Saturn has 62 moons. This version moves. is for preview only. Commercial exhibition of the film is prohibited. The coldest and smallest gas giant is Uranus. It's so cold, we also call it an ice giant planet. It also has faint rings and 27 moons. Uranus looks like it's sleeping because it's spinning on its side. In space, Uranus orbits the sun like a rolling ball. Neptune, the last known planet of our solar system, is also the windiest planet. So far from the sun, Neptune too is covered with ice. It has a great dark spot, as big as Earth. Neptune has faint rings and 14 moons. Our solar system family is very colourful and interesting. So far, we have one sun, eight planets, five dwarf planets and lots of moons. But that may not be the end of it. Who knows, with our giant telescopes and observatories, one day we might discover some more family members.